my dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i shall discuss why city secondary shall never be kept open in other words why city secondary is not disconnected when primary current is flowing please pay attention till the end we know city current transformer is an instrument transformer the current transformer is used to step down of high current to a measurable value and to protect the line through which this current is flown suppose 1000 amperes current is to be measured by a meter directly which is not practicable but after stepping down this current to a small value to a certain ratio it can be measurable and usable for protection city can do this by stepping down the current to a suitable ratio obviously city primary is connected with load in series this is a picture of a 33 kb city having primary leads p1 and p2 and secondary has two cores with leads 1s1 1s2 1s3 and 2s1 2s2 and 2s3 when a new city is brought for erection we have seen secondary the sorted so that by any chance the secondary terminals are not left open circuited before termination and if primary is connected with power circuit erroneously no problem is occurred now we have the subject of discussion why city secondary shall never be kept open during operation open circuited city can cause serious safety concerns like fire electrocution and saturation of city thus protection failure therefore we must ensure that city secondary should always be kept short circuited let us now understand the city construction and its working principle to know why the city must not be open circuited here the current transformer consists of two round type core upon which secondary windings of many turns is owned and primary windings of single turn passes through the core the primary windings of the transformer is connected in series with the load and carries the actual current to the load the secondary winding of the city is connected to a measuring device an ammeter the number of secondary turns is proportional to the current flowing through the primary that is the larger the magnitude of primary current the greater the number of secondary turns which in turns lower the secondary current the current transformer works on the principle of electromagnetic induction when alternating current flows in the primary winding of the city the primary generate a magnetic field h is equal to ni in the core of the city in number of turns i the current flowing through the winding
this magnetic field sets up magnetic flux in the core. The magnetic flux links to the secondary winding of the city wound around the core and thus linked flux induces a voltage in the secondary winding of the city. The secondary windings of the city is connected to the burden like measuring instrument or protective relay and become sorted. The alternating current starts flowing in the secondary winding of the city when primary is energized. The current in secondary winding creates an opposing magnetic flask that opposes the main flux created by the primary winding. The net flux in the core equals the difference between primary and secondary flux. The flux in the core remains within the rated current rating of the core when CT is connected to the specified burden. If the CT is kept open circuited, no current will flow in the secondary that is I2, the secondary, secondary current is equal to zero and consequently no secondary flux, the opposing flux will be set up in the core that is phi s is equal to zero. Therefore, net flux phi net is equal to primary flux phi primary. Hence, huge flux link with primary winding due to flow of high current, high primary current in absence of secondary current is the net flux which is totally engaged to induce voltage at the windings by electromagnetic induction. Due to absence of flux in secondary, net flux that is primary flux increases to a high value. As the working net flux increases, secondary voltage increases to high value and core gets saturated. As the resultant or net flux in the core is high, a huge flux linked in the core which in turn produces a high voltage across the city terminal which is kept open. The primary gets overheated and secondary core also get overheated may cause insulation failure. The peak value of secondary voltage on open circuited may be several times of RMS value since core is saturated and waveform of voltage is distorted. As CT burden is low, a few VA, 15 VA to 30 VA and so, therefore operating voltage of the secondary winding is generally low. The insulation of secondary winding is used according to such voltage. Beyond of this voltage may cause insulation failure and fire hazard. 
this may cause danger to personnel working on secondary side therefore when primary current is flowing secondary should never be disconnected so my dear viewers if this discussion is liked by you don't forget to subscribe to the channel your support is a great inspiration to me thank you